not over. Yeah. Not Come on, bro. We're coming here today live. There is no time to wait. Blue torch. Cigars, winery, zero. You know. Just come enjoy your smoking meat. Hey. Hold on. Come on out. After you. Have a good night. You too. Hey. All right. I'm talking about. Okay, got some crown heads. Some head from the grains. So what are we looking at? We're looking at some light, you know, for for a new smoker, you know, like myself. You want to indulge in something that's gonna taste, you know, not bad, not overly aggressive with the flavor. You know, something like this, you see the dark leaf, very bold. Probably have a more of a coffee, a mocha flavor. This is a light, more easier smoke. But I'm no pro. I'm trying to figure this out my damn self. This is the in-between. So that's like when you get off the lights, you want to go not fully head first in the game. You get the, the medium chocolate. That's that That's that milk chocolate. <laughs> and then this is that mocha. That mocha? The things ain't even touched. I ain't got to bust mocha. We got plenty of them right here. Yeah, these ain't bad. These ain't bad at all. The aroma in here is invigorating. We got the judge right here. You know, this is definitely it's a strong cigar right there. You can tell some of the fan favorites, the Hemi Garcia. Oh, you got you got some old stones. For the Cowboys. We'll be them right there. Yes, sir. Now we're getting into my brand. You got some shortcuts. Just for a little road trip. And then you got your Thanksgiving feasts right here. I might grab these for the yeah. Oh, is that dope? Uh, you might get one, but I might have to grab a few of these. These look good. Clean flavor. La Paladilla. No. La Paladilla. Yeah, how do you say it, Lou? Where we at? La Paladilla. La Palna. Yeah. It'll be alright. If it ain't today, it's. Palanina. Palanina, there it is. Oh, we get a phone call. She got a man. Right now, we on the move. I don't mean to be a dog, but I want me to ass so fast, hard, so short, on that like me to smoke. I ain't no job, baby girl, I ain't got a plea. I just need to be, she wrote it, we, please don't end up being, oops, I guess that three. Damn, back for some. What do you think? We can have some fun, do it to Depending on what you're trying, you know what I'm saying, go for it, they got flavors. Every, well, everything has a different flavor the for the most part. I mean, they all are similar, but the color is the key. Here we go. We got some balls, daddy. Balls. <laughs> Brick House, Connecticut. Connecticut makes a good car. From what I did, a little research on Churchill. Brick House Double. Yes. And then we got a regular. Ooh, that's very aromatic. Aromatic. Put 
Dippos. The Chipo Dippos. The Chipo Dippos. Don't want A little Thanksgiving masterpiece. I mean, I think we would we would have about got a better if someone know what the heck some of these are. Explain, you know what I mean? I mean, I did a little bit of research, and uh, it's very kind of simple. It was like, you know, the lighter ones are easier to smoke. It's just more about what flavor. See, like this is more golden. This one, that natural. All natural. Grab one of these. Uh, my crap. Two. Grab two. See, because I feel like something like this is OD for somebody who doesn't smoke cigars. These look. See, I'm I'm stuck between these and these. This one. Take a whiff. You kind of have to deep puff it. Kind of? No. I know. Take a whiff. I don't smell anything on that one. Couldn't smell it. Yeah. Take a smell one. Like, compare it to this. That's more bold. Yeah? You smell it? Do you yeah. have any smelling senses? I was just saying. No, what I'm I can smell it. Mm. it you're, you're looking for like a tobacco leaf smell. Ah, uh, okay. You know, not not an overly like these. You could you could definitely. Ooh, that's very strong. The Dominican. <laughs> it is. I think I'm blitzed right now. Oh, look at this pepper. Let's see if this pepper is hitting. And the boy they had the cake, but they got the blessing with the casery. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Fancy, fancy. Let's see what this is. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, yeah, let's see. Ooh, wow. Oh, yeah, I definitely smell that. And that's wood right there. That's cedar. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's that's that pack, boy. If you ain't really, you ain't ready. Yeah. If you ain't really, 14, 14 for a single. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but you know what I'm saying? 64 for the box. There's no way he can enjoy that. Why you say that? Because he don't really smoke cigars. He's getting into the game. So like you like I'm saying, you wanna start light. Even this is not fully light. I mean, that's pretty light, actually. But something like this is a step after, like, this is like step two, or you, unless you want to start on step two because you you already smoke. Mm-hmm. But these you're not inhaling. This is all just puffing. So for sure, I think I'm going to grab one of these. But damn, this whole box is full. And for me, that's a problem. People like the dark ones in these. Man, this is so hard. Like, what the fuck? I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ask for two recommendations. You can follow me. Of course. I'm gonna always follow. Yeah. I mean, I want to chase her down. Chase me. Oh. <laughs> Is that a question? Do you need two recommendations? Okay. Uh, like off the top of your head or? What do you normally it? smell? It's not for me. It's for like a beginner. Okay, for a beginner? Well, no, but, no, no. Yeah, but. So I would do the Alvino Toro. Yeah. Connecticut. Um, it's like the Um, 
for cigar aficionado. They want uh, for beer. But it's a lighter smoke, but it's, it has more of like a, a very cool flavor. Yeah. Like tobacco flavor or like... like yeah. YouTube channel. It's a YouTube channel? Yeah. <laughs>
That's her, it's right there. You know, you know, you know. It's a monster. It's that monster thing. Oh, she was looking scrumptious. Boy, I tell you. Boy, I tell you. Scrumptious dealing I um shins. Now I got to pull up to the torch. Hey. You know, might put the flame out. Hey, listen, but you already know where she at. Uh, Don't do I it. I going to be doing no weird shit. Hey, I know, I do know what your schedule is. <laughs> nah, baby, yeah, you look, just look. pop up every day. Oh, Damn, every day. Every, Every day. other day. Uh, day. Maybe once a week. Once a month. Nah, nah. I mean, that would be right. Once a month to get it cracking. Once a month, get it cracking. And then, you know what I'm saying? You just come in days that she ain't even there. You feel me? Right, to make it seem. Come on, bruh. You come, let other people see you. Her, her, her compadres in there. And then, no, he's a good guy. I was like, oh man, yeah, that guy. Uh, all the time. He he loved your recommendation, so he he loved the the cigar and kept coming back thing. for more. I loved everything. I'm and then they got a cheers out in there oh, with no, the gang. Come on, bro. She kind of wanted us to cheer low key, but you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it moving. <laughs> I'll be back. We <laughs> will be back. <laughs> Damn, y'all know like. Ma, ma, what are we doing right now? We going heavy duty out here. <laughs> Cut it a little big. You did all learn from this. Man, this ain't bad, Luke. Hmm. This ain't bad. Let's see how? It, oh, you picked a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I knew from the first moment you saw it, it was over. Oh, I, <laughs> you was and, like, <laughs> and at that moment, I knew I had to keep it cool. <laughs> exactly. Because you know they deal with the constant on the daily, uh, you know, so you can't just repeat the same mistakes that other ones make. You can do that only when they want you. Then you can start being a creep. But until they show signs of endearment, signs of interest, you got to creep low. Actually turn it completely off because motherfuckers don't have, you know what I'm saying? Don't even understand the level. Just don't even be a nice guy, keep it moving. And if she decides to indulge, you know, you gotta forget. I mean, you can't forget. That, you know, that's somebody at their job. Of course, they're gonna be cordial to you. You know, move. Oh, she was nice. She like, no, she she got her nine to five. <laughs> Damn, let the bitch work. Exactly. I mean, she got on the tight pants for you. Yes, enjoy the view. But dude, you know what I'm saying? Get your hand off your dick. <laughs> Don't be in public with the goddamn. You know what I'm saying? You halfway masturbating. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> you know, but hey, this shit hit me. I made a good choice. Yeah. It's like for Lou. Yeah. yeah. And it's your boy Council, Council TV. TV. You know what I'm saying? King Council, Kush Council, call it how you need to. Coming with you with a little quick, you know, easy. So, yeah, yeah, so we, yeah, we, we're doing Life of Lou. We're on the Life of Lou channel. Turning up. Uh, this is just a little introductory into what the pull up pod will definitely uh, bless the world with. Because this, we're gonna have to at least, yeah, I know we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be, but trust me, they don't even understand. They couldn't even, if they tried, good luck on them. Because you can make hot dogs, I can make hot dogs. Sorry, this is what we live in like. So we do a pull up bar. It's gonna be something that we ain't gotta go too much into detail with, but just know it's next up. It's gonna be something that you should pay attention to. 
really understand that it's entertainment and it's going to be going into the world of the person being interviewed instead of how you want to proceed you're going to have to go to your, your local interviewer at his you know spot nah, it's not like that no more we, we want the feel we want to know what it's like where you from your environment your territory because at the end of the day, we want to know you, because that's what it's all about. So we pulled up pod, and we're really going to get it in. We're going to start doing these interviews, and shit's going to be different. Shit's going to be different. You know, this is not something you've seen before, but this will be something that you need to keep seeing, because people are going to pick it up. We're not going to, sometimes you can't be the first, as long as you're not the last, like, just get it in play and the rest will take care of itself. You know? Yeah. That's what it comes down to. So you 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 know, you're a fellow host on the pull up pod, you know. Not you already know. No co host. We don't do co hosts. No. Well, who's the co host? Ain't no co host. This the the co- you're the host, I'm the host. And we host in this And we have a guest, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We we getting intertwined with their their mind. You know, we got to understand what these people are going through, what they, you know, why they out and about. We're not just interviewing random bums or, you know, these can be high profile people in your area. This is something you should really want to get in tune with because we don't move incorrectly. We're going to move to the proper coordinates. We're going to longitude, latitude. You know what I'm saying? We're not just out here guessing. We're very pinpoint with it, you know? I mean, Lou, you gonna be there, trust me. Yes. Trust me. It's, it's gonna be different. And they gonna fuck with it. Yeah, yo. And this thing hit, man. It's something different. It's something different when it's hitting. You know, it could have been that ass juice and this thing could have been puffing like nothing, but it's good, you know? You say ass juice? Yeah. Yeah, La Palanina. I'm not even saying the name right, but you get it. I mean, sometimes you hit the guard and it just hurt. Uh, uh, you know, like that ass we seen earlier. That thing uh, a little different. That thing with goddamn two sides of the earth, upper and lower hemisphere, and I was ready to mingle. <laughs> I was ready to find that equator. <laughs> Probably ready to hit that prime meridian. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Lord. Ready to touch the North Pole on a bitch. And that's that nose candy. <laughs> for her, not for me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, man, she was looking spectacular. She helped me get my cigar choices in order. Me as being a novice, I was willing to let her know this is my first time and I need you to teach me everything I need to know for this moment. And she certainly blessed me with everything I needed to know for that moment. Yes, we did. You know? It, it was a wonderful sight, and even a better feeling knowing that uh, it was all good. It was all good. There was no rush in and out. It was like, oh, I like this one. Oh, I like. Oh, I like this one. So you know, hey, you gotta fuck with that when people keep it genuine, and they don't just try to, you know, put some shit out. She had a couple of facts. Um, you know, picked up. You picked up three, two. Well, I actually picked up. This is the third type. I got two of the the dad ones. What is it called? La Father? Yeah. You know, the, she said that was the number one cigar. I forget what year. It was rated the number one cigar. So, you know, you got to just, you know, that's a smoker. That's something that's going to be able to, anybody can jump on, at least for a cigar enthusiast. And then, you know, got one with a little bit of flavor on there. So, hey, we got to get man. You got to save cigar talk. See what happens when you get when you do new things. You see new things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I see you got your locs on, looking special, looking motherfucking different, looking goddamn, goddamn like you about to rob somebody type shit or get on a fucking Harley Davidson. Can't figure it out. You know, it look like I'm looking into the goddamn. I can't even really say it. I don't want to get canceled before we start. But you know, hey, we out here. We got to If you ain't hiding the haters, they don't want to get in your face. You gotta have a little protection. You know the whole COVID thing, mask, 
know, the mask is so you don't breathe in the bullshit. You know, the, the hair blocker is so you ain't got to see the bullshit. You can look right past. I, I recommend it. I mean, what else? What else would they be good for? Get your hair blockers. Please. Do it Get well. your hair blockers. I mean, I'm not scared to look into the eyes of the, you know, the prize. We could definitely get it in. But, hey, of course, it's bright in here. <laughs> you know, it's bright.